Okay, so Tesla announced today that they are moving away from radar sensors and doubling down, tripling down, focusing on vision sensors, AKA the cameras. And I think that's a bold move and a right step towards pushing the status quo because for the longest time, every automaker is using radar based sensors for parking, for backing up, for sensing solid objects around the vehicle. And mostly it's used for like parking assist. And frankly, I, I love it. I love the chimes. I love seeing the graphics in the car when I'm backing up. And I love the accuracy of the radar with the inches that it shows, the distance, and, and it just gives me peace of mind. Back in April, Elon Musk tweeted about this and said that when radar and vision disagree, which one do you believe? Vision has much more precision. So better to double down on vision than to do sensor fusion. And it seems like the time has come where they're ready to move forward with this next step. It, it kind of seems like the issue is that radar technology hasn't developed much and so there's there's much more noise in the radar stream than there is in the vision stream and so i guess until there's more advancements in radar technology it doesn't make sense to try and fuse the two together i, I guess there's been a lot of cases where they just disagree I so my concern with removing the radar sensors is that will it still work accurately when backing up into a spot such as mine with all of the unnecessary clutter around it? And will it be as accurate? Will it still determine the distance with like a parallax effect or something? I'm not quite sure because there's only one backup camera, but then there's other cameras on the side that are also looking backwards. So. Really, I don't know, but I'm excited to see where this leads the technology. I'm also curious to see if it's possible to use the radar sensors that we already have in our vehicles. I, I get the idea of not doing it going forward, but how about we use everything that we already have in place because it's already there and at least just have the option to use it when we're parking for parking assistance, maybe? But I guess the idea is that you can accomplish more with less and I appreciate that. That's, to me, that's like the ultimate beauty. So, so it makes sense if you can accomplish more with less to then remove that part and subtract it out of the equation, subtract it out of the car. That makes sense. But it seems like for the time being, it might be one step backwards to gain three steps forward. And ultimately will be an advantage because this is definitely pushing the status quo and literally pioneering the way because you are investing everything in computer vision and ultimately other companies will follow suit because like it's it's kind of the it's kind of been the trend and and I think the brilliant minds at Tesla and Elon Musk himself have thought about all these different use case scenarios and have arrived at the conclusion that removing the radar sensors is the right decision moving forward. But I also want to point out that they reserve the right to change their mind. If they roll this out and it doesn't work as well in the real world as intended, they could always go backwards and add higher resolution radar potentially. I don't know, just some thoughts, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please gently tap that like button and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go.